Everybody, should have nobody else's auto. We're standing here with somebody that you guys probably already know, Derek from Vice Grip God stopped by. So glad you swung by, even though we're about out of time, glad you made it. This is incredible. We're running out of daylight, but we are hoofing around. There is so much to see here. This is a lot of fun. So we've been out wandering. Let's go check out some more cool stuff. Oh, Lee, I might need that. <laughs> it's got a dent in the other side, but the, it's fixable. There's an extra fender that comes with it. Mine tipped over in the wind. We had to stand straight up because we cut the center out for a step notch and it busted the flare. You see the lights on the tailgate? That's cowboy. <laughs> Now this section over here that we're heading into, I've started moving a few things over here, but I bought this the way it was. This was actually a yard of old cars that the guy that started this salvage yard back in the 50s, when he started to get ready to retire in the 70s and sold the late model portion of it, he started setting stuff up over here. And as you can see right here, there's no rhyme or reason to any of it. 75 Cadillac, Studebaker truck, big Chrysler. A Monterey. Yep. Ford 9N tractor. Awesome. So this stuff here was just all overgrown and messy, just like this when I got it. You put a lot of work in. Yeah, a little short bed. Just need the seat cover. Yeah, there you go. Now, I've always wondered what this little comet's history has been. Never have figured out anything about it, but. Did you get it like this? This is exactly how I got it. Did someone yank the big rear out of it and left it, huh? The hood was cut, too? The hood was cut. The rear wheel wells were cut. Well, she boogied back in the day. So, yeah, in the, back in the day, this car had an interesting life. I just never have figured out what it was. Tied up. Oh yeah, she was she was running the streets. <laughs> Straight car, actually. That one's seen some better days, but yeah. Our steering cooler, fancy. <laughs> Hot dog. What was this? That one was a Chevrolet. I think about a thirty-six. Assembly. <laughs> Some assembly required and a few missing pieces. Yeah. Oh, I should have brought a sleeping bag. Do you ever get tired of walking around here? It's every day to me. Yeah. It's my normal world. Is that a 40? Can't no. no, these actually, I do have 140, it's in the back. <laughs> this area right here is another area that I've been working on. These are early Fords. Um, there's a couple Model A's. There's a 37 right there. There's a 39 over there. But the bulk of these right here in this group are 41 to 48 Fords. So this, a couple months ago, this was all unorganized just like what we saw out here where it was just whatever wherever and i just had to start somewhere sorting so i started sorting early fords and moving them up into this area the thing was here when i got here it's a big old beast Not really sure how it works. You wanna to try to get that one running? Sure. <laughs> Ransom. Huh. I was sitting here when I bought the place, don't know a thing about it. There you go. At least you got a positive attitude. Zenith one carb, it's got a little 
However, it lowered that down and yeah, fill it up, dump it in here, tumble it, shoot it out the other side. This is back when men were men. Can you imagine? <laughs> you had to be to handle that thing. Then they must have rolled this by hand. I'm guessing, I don't know. Tommy sat here all day and <laughs> I never got into those things. I didn't either. And I don't, that's like a weird engine. It's like a Datsun engine or something in the back of that thing. I don't know what they were trying to do with it, but. Starlight. Yeah, there's a starlight over there. I love these old scoots. They're, <laughs> they're such a quirky, neat car, and they were. I feel like they were five years ahead of everybody. Oh, yeah. And my daughter loves them, too. She loves Starlight Coupes. This is a little Ford-esque, but, <laughs> yeah. but, I mean, I just, the styling is really cool. The interior, the dash. I don't understand that. I just think that old test equipment's cool, too. Oh, they must, I see. So they hooked the coil up to this machine, and then you could see the contacts in there. Were. Oh, I bet so, yeah. Yeah, these are really rad. I don't know what this is. This is how you get rain or something. Distributor tester. But I've never tried to use it. It just looked cool. I don't know they go from 1,000 to 4,000. It's just <laughs> all. 